Jets. Are you on vacation or something? Uh, oops. Hope you feel better. What do you mean? Because not everyone got infected. Some people get infected. Some people don't. Or maybe he's currently being possessed. He might be the real demon. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Honestly, though, if you feel like crap, just take a break if you can. Man, that, that music was super loud, though, in the game. Let me turn that down. That scared the shit out of me. There we go. But yeah, we got that epic news. Everyone is a little bit affected here and there, depending if you have the horns or not. If you don't have the horns, then... You're probably not infected, but that, or you just have no symptoms. Just like most sicknesses, right? When did I start the news program? Um, the beginning of October, I think. No, the second week of October. So Tuesday, Newsday is a thing. That's when all the biggest updates happens. And then after that, it's just daily reminders before I start again. So yeah, it, it is a thing. Uh, Tuesday news is when we have like the biggest reports happen. The rest of the week is just normal rep updates like who's currently taking the leaderboard and stuff. Unless there's like a major update, then he'll like say something else. But yeah, it's basically at the beginning of streams now. Um, with more time and Mula, we will have him maybe do a second program during the stream. Or we just do a rerun. I was thinking of doing a rerun because not everyone shows up in the beginning. So that's that. Um, let's see if the music actually... Hello, Libra. How you doing? Good morning. Why is my tail wagging? I'm not happy. What is the nonsense? I was so cranky this morning. Oh my god. I woke up with like crankiness. It was crazy. You missed the news. It's okay. It's not that like serious. You can probably like look back in the stream though and check it out. Yeah, I don't know why I'm wagging my tail. Let me stop wagging my tail. There we go. Easy game. Well, I hope you feel better, Box. Uh, let's see who's here today, actually. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Lord Vaugh. Good morning, Big Al. Good morning, C Rev. Good morning, Yule. Good morning, Box. And. Let's see. Good morning, Libra, and good morning, anyone else who's lurking on in today. Appreciate you coming in. It's going to be a very chill day. We're just going to continue Vampire the Masquerade. I'm very slow at these types of games, so please forgive me. Or else I'll cry. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see me cry. <laughs> Caring? Um, like eating, right? <laughs> Yeah, let me know if the music's loud though. Sometimes it can get pretty loud. Wait, what's happening? What? I have to remember how to play this. Uh, not even a knock? I could have oh, been undressed. I didn't save. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. 
You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Let's see. Oh yeah, I had to press by numbers. <gasps> oh no! Dude, having no water in the building is literally one of my top five worst things to experience. I am like super grateful for water. So when I have no water, I literally cry. Like I want water. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. What have I done? I'm hungry, but I got lazy. I didn't want to cook. It was too early in the morning. I woke up like really bad back pain and my left knee was hurting a lot. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, toughen through this. <laughs> I guess if I ask, it'll be fine. Oh my God, it's that bug boy. Hello, good morning, good morning. Yeah, they were snugging with each other between my legs. I'm like, what's going on here? Ivona, you want to fight? Let's freaking go. Let's go. I got you. We'll fight. I'm doing good. How about you? Did you find any bugs? Some good bugs to share? Do you like sea creatures? Like, why are you punching me? Because they're like bugs of the sea, technically. Or are you specifically like land creature? Wow, look at all these infected people in chat. That's kind of cringe. Guys are playing with the demon. That's messed up. It's Harley Quinn. Yeah, that's what she reminds me of. Harley Quinn. Do you think mosquitoes deserve to live? Or are you like everyone else and wish they're gone? Yes, everyone is the horny. Sorry, that's what happens when the culprit's on the loose. Everyone's going to get horny. <laughs> Let's see here. Not even knock. Uh, yeah, I was here to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Did you hear about the... I'm not sure if it's true. I didn't look into the report. But someone messed with the DNA of mosquitoes. And... Because um, you know how only female mosquitoes can actually like pierce through the skin and drink blood? But they, they basically made this... Um, experiment. Or I don't know if it's an experiment. But like it's like they... Basically, forced trans transitioning on mosquitoes to make the female mosquitoes have male parts so they can't suck blood. So, like, uh, there are female mosquitoes that have, like, uh, male features where they can't pierce through the skin. And they're like, why is this happening? But that's kind of messed up. Like, I don't want to get bit by mosquitoes because, like... I, with the poison that they put, I'm allergic to, like, heavily, like, not, like, deathly allergic, but my entire body can swell into, like, this big thing. So I was like, okay, well, at least I survived, but that's kind of messed up in a nature type of way.
Yeah, so they did that. They basically transitioned the female mosquitoes into males. So they can't suck blood and they're like, why am I not sucking blood? And these mosquitoes have no idea. It's kind of messed up if you think about it. I'd rather discuss with Therese. So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? Mm, not giving it to anyone but her. Not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? Whoa, she's trauma dumping onto me. No, please she's calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, that's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Okay, damn. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of like human in human interv intervention with nature and it's, but I don't know if that one's one of the real ones, but I wouldn't be surprised if they managed to do that. It's like cross species breeding, but this is like cross transitioning. <laughs> I understand, but I can't give it to you, okay? Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? Damn, she's like literally whining at me. Sorry, I still can't Fine. give it to you. You hold on to it. Hmm, since you were so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Wow. Uh, um, um, let's see. Uh... No forget I'm sick of running around for you bitches. <laughs> Some of these dialogues are like unhinged though. Probably an area 51 C Rev. <laughs> did you see that it's really random, but um did you see that there was like a I don't want to talk about politics, but this is just a particular part that I thought was funny. Um but there was like a Bernie Sanders conversation that the influencers are having and one of the people having a conversation with Bernie Sanders was a VTuber. It was pretty funny. Cat boy VTuber specifically. Who knows man, um, we might run the world. Okay, cut the schoolgirl act and tell me what the hell it is. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. It's a decoy. To be honest, Yvonne, I feel like everything's a decoy. I feel like everything that's happening is just run by one thing and we're just living in it. We're just living in it. I need to talk to Tung. This isn't helping. I thought we went over this. Therese isn't here. Until he hears it from her, Bertram's like a windshield in the deep blue sea. Invisible. This is it, you understand? This is the last thing I'm doing for either of you. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get okay, caught. Okay, so you end up doing this uh, a a quest anyway, even if you don't give it to her. Would you? Buy yourself something, Velvet.
something velvet. I'm not gonna steal charity money. It's not what you think. Every pretty penny dropped in that box is going right into some other kindred's purse. You'd be crooking from a dirty steal. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when I do slashed art. Fine, I'll do it. Then you'll call off the feud, right? I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. All right. If I don't get to see Tongue when I get back, I'm taking it on both of you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, well. Have fun, Declan. I will? I have no force, but no choice but to say that. Okay, now I will save. Is today Thursday? Oh my god, tomorrow's Friday! Is this the second last week of October? Oh, man. Dude, that means Halloween's next week. Do you think we'll make it? Do you think we'll catch the demon? How do I get out? Let me out! Why didn't the door open? <laughs> so can I only like flirt with female people to drink their blood? Is this like a forced hetero narrative game? Oh, oops. Shit, sorry. I'm only looking at the back door. Ooh. So that means if you play as a female character, you... You can- you have double the options. Man, I just want to suck so I can get the blood fill up. The meter, I mean. Oh my goodness, that sounded so wrong. What's the proper way to say it? I want to drink your blood. Or like as, um, what's his name? Brute Bomber says. Uh, I'll blow you to smithereens. Wait, this is not the place. I think here? Here? I think the art place is here. No, that's the club. The asylum. I remember walking into an art gallery. I just don't remember where it is. I wish I can open the map anywhere. Oh, oh man, they're like standing together. Each axis. Gallery Noir. This is it, right? What do you mean, guard?
Who's this? Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid oh. you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Didn't you get the call? Huh? What call are you talking about there, Chief? One of the artists pissed off the director, so I'm to pull their art from the show. And who might you be then, Chief? I'm the museum director's assistant. Think you can let me in? Yeah? That pay well? Just taking one look at you, I'd say there's a lot of money in that line of work. Me, security's in my blood. My father, father's father, my six brothers, <laughs> yeah. We're all real keen on upholding the law, like a family of Magnum mm, PI. Definitely in his blood. That's great, but I also have a job to do. Look, uh, I'll let you in, but I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after my shift, just so you're aware. I expect it. Better file a 45B as well. Just to make sure. Uh, yeah, 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 that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B? Huh? Wait, why do you say that? 45B. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice night. Bye bye. All right, time to go in. Bad Easy game. Boy, bad boy. What are you going to do when I come for you? Pleasure working with you, Chief. Remember, never let the stale, spongy cake of life keep you from getting to the tasty cream filling of success. <laughs> Shut up! You don't look like that. I'll take that to heart. Good night. Pleasure working with you, Chief. Remember. Okay. I just... I know in old games, you have to, like, talk to them a few times to finish the dialogue. Like, they have more lines. Oh. Cain slays Abel. Cain spurns Lilith. Cain cursed by God. Wow, such art. Cain meets Lilith. How do I take the money? Like two hundred fifty dollars. Oh, I lost my humanity. I hear footsteps. Is that you? Mama? Why stealing? <laughs> you are so right. You are not wrong. You are correct. That's literally what humans do. You're so right. Oh my goodness, is that big man? Hello. Lord Wow. Okay, I think I'm supposed to Oh, that's not the weapon I need. I think it's this one. Okay, I have a feeling I should save. Cause last time I forgot to save. Good, good. How about you? Whoa, what's happening? Yo, it's... Wait, why is it doing that? It's hurting me!
Burled. Oh, am I supposed to go in order? I see. Kane slays Abel. Kane cursed by gods. Kane meets Lilith. And then Kane burns Lilith. Mode. So am I, but now I have no blood. You slash the paintings in the gallery for Jeanette, possibly making some kind of statement in the process. Lamau. Wait, why did I frenzy? Oh, because I have no blood. Can't be the slayer, but today I am the slayer. Pleasure working with you, Chief. Remember. Bye. -bye. Oh, Where's my favorite my homeless man meal? Oh, he's alone. He's considered alone, right? No one can see me. I'm gonna save just in case. Yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I can't explain. No! Where's the sewers? <laughs> Shit! Oh fuck. No, I can't explain! I didn't mean it. <laughs> I did not find any sewers. Blush, my bad. Wait, how come I couldn't suck his blood? Is he like some powerful being? Where is that damn tow truck? Afraid I'm a little short on. Of all the places to have car problems. Well. I yeah, suck that guy's blood. Oh, there's the sewer. Lamau cringe. I need blood. I missed you. Did you miss me? Uh, where did we leave off? Oh, I remember now. Oh, so after you flirt with them the first time and they like... Like you, you can do it whenever you want. I see. Unfortunately, that's not enough blood for me. Buy a watch? Why? Girl, your dress is spazzing out. Okay, fine. I haven't stopped thinking about you since we last last time we talked. 
Come here and I'll show you why I killed the cat. Lum out! Hell yeah. This is how you get the ladies, okay? I think I got another blood. Second floor. All right, let's see what she has to say for my misdemeanor here. You, what were you thinking? Uh, the museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! <laughs> hey. Clearly, clearly, Suck has no gender in the vampire world. I had to go out just to let you be able to post that. I didn't do it! I swear, I can explain! Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tung's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. <laughs> Damn! Okay, at least you got your ocean house here. My museum is wrecked! Do you understand? Now, if you'd like to atone, or if you'd like to provide further assurance of your innocence, I have one more task that has to be dealt with. I, we had an agreement. We had an agreement. You blew that agreement. Even if my sister was at fault, you played into her hands. And I've all but had her destroyed for her actions against me. In fact, I may have been too severe with her. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Why don't we just get rid of her? Jeanette and Tongue are a noisome beauty and beast. Between them, they've nearly crippled my plans. I can control Jeanette, but once she's found a partner in crime, she turns into a bloody nuisance. You shouldn't have underestimated her. Underestimate her? She's a clown. A painted, perverted joker on tongue strings. Jeanette does things on a whim, for amusement. Underestimate her. Don't insult me. Watch what you say to me. I won't put up with that shit. Incompetence I can forgive. Somewhat. Threats, on the other hand, I do not tolerate. If you want to stay in my good graces, if you want to accomplish this goal of finding tongue, I suggest you do what I ask. Man. These girls are just telling me what to do. Damn. Okay, uh... I don't even know who the prince is. What did... What does that mean? I work for the prince? I don't even know who I work for. Who's the prince? I need more context. You can answer my questions. I'm begging. Who are you, huh? Uh... No, just these ones. <laughs> I mean, good for her for having her stamp foot underground, I guess. Oh, that's the prince? What does he do? Oh, I don't, for some reason, I don't remember that part. I see. All right, let's see what she wants, which is... I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. 
I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I see. I don't even remember who he is. Like, he doesn't stand out to me as much as I don't even remember. Evil Popato! Hello, good morning, how you doing? Fine. If I go, will the feud is, will the feud be off? I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Fine, I'll do it. I feel like the situation just got more complicated. Oh, nice. Me too. I did some cleaning too. I scooped cat shit <laughs> before I started, and I took a shower because there's so many. But they're like. I feel like the litter is kind of overflowing a bit, so they're like kicking the litter out and I need to like vacuum it again. Oh nice, I did the dishes yesterday. Relatable! Was it a lot of dishes? This just is one of those things that it just never stops. It's a task that never stops. Wait, what did she tell me to do? I don't remember. Therese has asked you to the Surfside Diner to meet with Jeanette and assure her that Teresa does not mean harm to her. Okay. Mud Hunt. Downtown Skyline Apartments. Is that in a different region? The Hunted Hunter. Nox is being stalked by an Asian vampire. He wants it to go away and has ask for your help. He has given you a lesson of hopes to provide. Okay. I don't know any more of that. Explosive beginnings. Mercury has told you on about a warehouse being used by Sabat. I have a lot of quests here, but it looks like they're kind of on the side until I find out. Okay. Yeah. So they all relate to each other for now, or I just haven't found clues. Uh, Excuse me. Oh my goodness. No, oh, that's the diner. Alright. Whoa. We got some clones up in here. What's going on? Are they like triplets? What's up, guys? You better get out of here. Wait, why? What do I do? You better get out of here. You better get out of here. Nothing happening? Question mark. There's a group of dudes over there. You gonna do something about that? Where's the old lady? Whoa! 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 What's going on? Okay, damn. What the hell? Okay. Huh? Oops. Huh? Same girl. Same girl. They didn't seem so threatening in the beginning. They just told me to get out, but I guess I'll uh, use my presence. Hey, guys. Yeah! Parkour! Wait, why am I not hitting him? Hey! Get up! Oh.
Wait, why can't I grab him? Wow, epic. Just a little suck. Where is that phone? Is it this? Hello? Ugh. Hi. It was a setup. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but you have to trust me. Therese tried to have you killed. I had to lock myself in the bathroom because now she's got a gun and please, you have to help me. Why should I help you? Therese is going to kill us. Without me, you'll never get out of Santa Monica alive. Why is Therese trying to kill me? Damn it. Jeanette called you and asked you to save her from Therese. Okay, that doesn't help. Explain. Okay, so I guess I just leave, question mark? And then do I go back? Like, Therese, why did you try to kill me? I brought your amulet. To be fair, though, everyone here is out, to, out for my blood. Haha, <laughs> get it? Never mind. No drama. I've heard them talking to each other, but I don't I don't think I've seen them like in the same room together. But they're supposed to be twins question mark. Whoa. You stay out of this. To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood. This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! OMG, Yvonne, you're right! You stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? WTF? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say, daddy's little girl. Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of it's Santa sure Monica did. can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Yvonne. Yeah, why are you so full of stuff? Why do you look like that? Oh my goodness. You are literally... You're literally a big pile of stuff. <laughs> what? Let me see what happened to you. Maybe the demon got to you. What in the world just happened to you? Oh my goodness. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Dude, Big Al is definitely Big Al. Check your inventory. <laughs> you manifested into a creature. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. 
That's crazy. Can you unequip it? What the heck happened to you? Oh! No! Say something? Oh no, you still have it. What the? What happened to you? Let me look this up. I don't even know what happened to Big Al. You straight up just became a creature. Hello, Candace Fox. How you doing? We got a predicament going on here. Yeah, check if you can um, unequip that, but in the meanwhile. So crazy. <laughs> yeah, check. Um, can you check the inventory of your character? It looks like I can't do anything on my end. For some reason, you have a bunch of stuff. So strange. I think there's one option over if you hover over this screen. And if you look at the list on the top left of the window, once you click on the icon, you should be able to see stuff. I don't know why those things manifested on you, but it's pretty funny. Did you ever buy those things? Oh, there you go. Wait, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, Big L is broken. I'll take a look at that after, but for now, you're just a monster. A, a very dessertly looking monster. <laughs> That's so strange. I wonder what happened though, for real. Anyway. Um, while you steal the show, like you're at the gala, uh, we just found out they're actually one person, like Yvonne said. Go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you, and he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until shut up. Just shut up. Okay. Go on. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's all an act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? 
If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Okay, so... She either has some sort of personality thing going on or there's actually two people fused into one person or some other freaky shit so this could be <laughs> anything at this point i guess that doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do she's a control freak People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to Tong right now. You're right, Jeanette. Therese tried to have me killed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Wait, what does a Malkavan do? I forget. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, blah, 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 I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always what hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Whoa. Wait, does it matter who I ask? I guess they'll, they'll give a different answer, huh? Uh... What happened to your father? I don't even remember who's who. I forget. What happened to your father, Jeanette? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. What? I don't believe neither of them. Can I get out of here? I have to choose. I can't believe you killed your own dad. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister. Is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Oh! Give me the gun. What the? I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Hey, she didn't give me the gun. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business then is finally complete. What you witnessed here. <laughs> a little bit. That. I can't believe you killed Jeanette. <laughs> Shh. 
True facts. I guess that's like this game's version of D and D, the kind of thing, right? Your 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 actions have consequences. Eh, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, the dad seems a little bit cringe. Am I being a little bit? I mean, very cringe. That was messed up. Anyway. It is what it is. Exactly. So it's like, I don't even know what's happening. I feel like I'm the one that went through a shit show just now. <laughs> You managed to talk to Therese's personality into killing the Therese personality into killing the Jeanette personality. Therese has put a word out with tongue, put out with tongue that the feud is off. Okay, that was fast. Is the game done now? Tongue is hiding in an old tank not far from the asylum. You must meet with him and get him to show you a way into the warehouse so that the explosives can be set. Okay, not to find him. Look for a dude named Tong. Oh, oh my God! You can actually open that. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. You do? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. Cool. How'd you know I live? <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to that warehouse for Mercurio. You know Mercurio? Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Oh. The Sabbat? The Sabbat. Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. But should I only expect to encounter humans there? As far as I can tell. The humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Wait, they know they're working for vampires? Yeah. This is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. The masquerade. Okay. Well, can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. I feel like most of these most of these people have like that very um OMG type of tone. What, what do you guys call it? Campy. All right, let me get a few things together first. <laughs> All right, I guess. Come back when you're ready to go, but don't be too long, fledgling. This isn't really something we planned around your schedule. All right, whatever. Okay. Oops. How do I access my items again? I right hear. What's this? I have like three blood bags. I have a shirt. 
weapons I never use because I don't like the controls. All right, I can level up. My humanity is at 50%. Oops. Uh, sheet? Yeah, I think so. Charisma. Measures your character's ability to sway others through personality. Charisma is an important part of the persuasion feat. Okay. Which one is that one again? The fast one? I'm not good at firearms. Can I just use melee? Yeah, this is so me. Okay, and then... I want a charisma. Oh, here. I didn't realize. Okay. Take this move. I think I got this. So I put up some skills and some melee combat because I don't know how to use the weapons very well. I think I'm ready to go. Brothers Salvage. All right, calm down. I'm gonna save here. Save. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. I have some questions for you when I get back. Let's go. Drama in the warehouse. Big out. Did you manage to figure out why you're full of items? I don't know why you're the only one. Did you get me in? Oh shit. Crouch? Oh my god, is he pissing? Lamau? Not today, brother. I want your blood. Mmm, delicious. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's pissing with his gun. That gun must be nasty! What's this? Yeah, I'll take that. Is that it? I like, I like this. I like how obvious the items are. So I'll never miss it. That's the only good thing about older games. But even though this is an older game, it has like a stylistic appeal to it. Which I appreciate. Wouldn't you kiss with your... I mean... What you call it? Wouldn't you piss with your gun? Mine now. I am sneaky. I'm like... A vampire in the dark. Pee pee. That's just a regular guy.
Wait, what am I supposed to do here? I don't remember. Ooh. Oh, maybe I was supposed to get around Lamau. Is he is he part of the peoples? He looks like just a regular homeless guy. Yo, I, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Boxes all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of oh. shit in here all the time. What's what the about fuck? tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Is it reflecting on the thing? Oh, oh hi. Attack! Wait, stand up. Sickle mode activated. What's this? I'm a sneak. Freeze mode. Free. <laughs> Did you just say freeze, motherfucker? <laughs> I can't. This is so comedic. Oh, does it look like it changed on the screen, huh? I'm a sneaky vampy. I don't remember. Is Auspex like only for nighttime? Or can you see through things? Oh shoot, that's a lot of people. Hey, you see something out there? Where? Out there in the trains. I swear I saw something moving. Ain't nothing out here. You just scared, little John. What? Shit, I ain't scared of nothing. Scared for whoever decides to come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waving that thing around. Fucking explosives all over the place. You're trying to blow it up. <laughs> this stereotypical ah. axis is killing me. It's so animated. Oh, really? Okay. Wonder oh there's no way there, Sag. Do you think I could like sneak under their vision, like right here? Never mind. I got a gun. They have a lot of damage. Or HP, huh? I think I'm running out of bullets. I'm missing. Oh my god. Die! 
right. There we go. Easy. Oh, there's more. Hold on. Let me. Oh shit! Hold up. <laughs> there's more. Uh OMG, I'm in danger. I need to heal. That guy's a shotgun too. Okay, now I need to heal. I think I think you can passive heal though, right? Like like just wait around hell yeah i don't really like the weapon swapping oh man It's very clear to me that there's a reason why I didn't play games in the past. OMG. So I'm just going to wait for my health to uh, go back up. Damn, that was hard. <laughs> That's what he said or she really depends who you're talking to. Guess what we're having for dinner, and I'm gonna cook it. Curry! Yellow curry. Mmm, with rice. Delicious. I have a feeling there's something down there, but it's whatever. I think you're like... Supposed to... Wait, who, see who sees me? It says someone sees me. Wait, what's happening? Who am I feeding on? Oh, I press F by accident. Let him cook. Hey! Oh! What the? Ah, shit. There's more of them. <laughs> I'm going the other way. I'm not here. What do you mean? OMG. I'm dying again. Cringe. Don't hurt me. Why am I not moving? Oh, I'm crouching. Fuck! <laughs> no! Is this game by any chance controller friendly? Or is it strictly a PC game? Is that the start all over? Damn. Chicken and rice today? What are you going to do with your chicken? Freaking love chicken and rice. Like, you can literally do anything with it. Oh, man. Let's start from here. I'm leaving. I'm sad. All right, rest well. Hope you feel better. I'm going to cry now. I'm not strong. I'm pathetic. Eat as is. You're not going to put like salt or anything on it. Maybe some lime. Cook it in oil. 
How are you gonna cook it? Whoa, the police is here. I didn't do it. Hey, stop. What happened? Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Yeah, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? I just hope they catch a the guy, a uh, person who did this. Damn, that's crazy. Who would have done that? Fried chicken on the pan. Put some salt. Hi. Thanks for coming back. What you need? I want to buy something. All right. Here's what we got today. I want to. What am I supposed to do with estrogen? Does that benefit me in any way? Oh, that's the thing I needed to blow up the warehouse. Okay. Ugh. Do not take if male. Why not? What if I just want to be a little feminine? Don't tell me what to do. A pretty dated game though to be honest so it's kind of funny seeing it uh <laughs> these comments it's you know what's crazy though because like how dated this game is a lot of kids born in 2000 they weren't growing up with this type of perception of society so it's pretty funny <laughs> dude if this type of stuff would not fly today. Understandably so. But the... Just the way the language and stuff is told then versus how it is today, you can see a totally big difference. Like, I have to still explain to people that saying the R word is a... You know, it's... It's... It's a harmful word towards those who are you know actually neurodivergent and stuff right like that's it's pretty derogatory and demeaning it's enforcing the idea that people who are on the spectrum are stupid but yeah that's that's a word that hasn't been completely recognized as inappropriate yet but it's like i actually had to like mention this to raid members the last three day we had. Stop! <laughs> rent, rent is a bad. At this point, it is a bad word. It could have been a good thing, but you know, they they took that word and made it bad. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I reloaded. Dumbass. Well, I didn't need to be here anyway. I'll just walk back. Yo, Big Al is still a monstrosity, and I don't even know how he got that. Anyway, I'll I'll see what happens after. <laughs> After this stream, or maybe like at the end of the stream, we can figure it out together because I think I need you in chat anyway for me to actually see what happened. So you and I can hang out for a bit after stream to figure out the problem. Because I'm actually curious, like how did that even happen? It's insane. Am I going to the wrong place? Hey there, need a date? Oh, wrong place. Hey there, need a date.
Ah, here. We made it to the right destination. I feel so dumb, OMG. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna die again, but yeah, let's go. Time for sneaky mode two times. I'm gonna save once I get into the first wave of this speed run. Hello, Earl Grey. I am playing Vampire the Masquerade. Oh God. Okay, it's the it's the freaking filter thing. I thought he was pissing blood in there. How are you doing? Yeah, man. It'd be like that. Sometimes I feel like that when I go in the men's washroom, though. It's so gross in there. Makes me mad. Obsolete. Hello. How are you doing? Good morning. What's up, man? Strike me while I'm unleashing my Leviathan blush. Oh, he's smoking. Last time he had a gun. Am I tripping out or am I hearing whispers? Me or that guy? I'm pretty sure that guy needs to see the doctor. Just woke up. Damn, I feel like I'm still waking up too. I am not a morning person. Like, I thrive staying up late. I'm pretty sure there was like ammo here. Yeah. Kinda nate that from what's coming up. I wish I could turn invisible, but you know, it is what it is. It was until about 4 a.m. Wait, what do you mean? Waking up? Yeah, I think we're all morning haters in here. There's a reason why we're all here. Because we all hate mornings. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, OMG. I didn't know you can interact with the environment like that. But could have been through here. La Mao. Okay. Speed running. I should look more carefully then. Oh, you were up until 4 a.m. What the fuck is going on here tonight? Boxes is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the yeah, time. Yeah, I heard. But what the frick? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe I don't know. I like I sleeping in until noon. Anything before that, I'm angry. Someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. How do I sneak up on these guys? Maybe I have no choice but to fight them. Is he gonna bring his homies? Eh. Freeze, mother fricker! Okay, how do I throw hands again? Hiya! I forgot I can do this.
<laughs> yeah, I love the rig dolling. It's funny as hell. You're playing Monster Hunter World? Man, big man, you're always uh, on the roll with these games. Oh, there's another way here, I think. Lock picking. I failed. I'm always a failure. Drinks my own blood. Take. Damn, that's so early and so late. I used to wake up that early to go out into the studio too. It sucks ass. And I would come back super late as well. It is not fun, especially when you do it like five times a week. It's like, what kind of torturous <laughs> scheduling and lifestyle is this? Girl, I think I'm just straight up dead because I'm a vampire. These guys are very enthusiastic with their voice acting. Yeah, 12 hour shift sucks. I used to spend like... I would work like weekends and weekdays in animation. Before that, I would work like two jobs just because I wouldn't make enough money with one job, which is kind of messed up. And that's why I'm like... I vouch for a better pay for everybody. I'm not strong enough for these guys. I can't take all three. Only one at a time for me. Me? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean these horns? Yeah, did you see the report? I got infected. I got sick. Yeah, nobody should like work two or three jobs just to make ends meet. That's messed up. Hey, there's a door there. Oh, there's a dude there. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Let me send you the highlights. Yeah, we're all horny in here, apparently. But if you guys missed the, um, if you guys missed the Newsday Tuesday, it is, it's also in the Discord server too. I've posted it there, but uh, let me send you a link if you're curious about the situation. So we reached the first milestone. We're on the second milestone right now and for the subathon, but because we completed the first one, we managed to figure out that it was a demon, but you can see for yourself here, this thread. Take a look. Is that what McDonald's does to you? I don't like McDonald's that much, and I think it's overpriced for what it is. If I'm going to be a boring person. I like making my own burgers, though. I think those taste better because I have a little bit more control of it and it costs less too. I don't like cooking. I love eating, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do the right thing and not eat McDonald's. But yeah. And if you check that out, I put the highlights, look in the thread too, for the full milestone. Who's there? I can't explain. Wait, how do they see me? Ah. 
Owie. Attack! Who's next? But yeah, I like making my own burgers because I can control how much stuff I put in. Sorry, blush got ambushed there. How do you reload? Oops, that's not what I meant to do, frick. Should probably use a blood bag. Oh, ammo. Hell yeah. Take it all. Coffee? I'm dumb. I bought coffee. I bought coffee, but I freaking remembered that the type of coffee I bought, which is the grinded beans, requires a freaking coffee maker and we don't have a coffee maker. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So now I have a very smell good coffee, grinded coffee sitting in the fridge with no coffee machine. And I'm like, okay, well, because we've been drinking um, instant coffee. What? But I, for some reason, was craving ah! the... Ah! I found ah! But I've been preferring the coffee grinded ones. The grinded beans. And I was like, oh man. What have I done? So yeah, it's just sitting in the fridge. So I'm just gonna wait till like the next couple paychecks to get it. It's kind of funny. Don't be a smart ass. You know what I'm talking about. Is he pissing? Hey. Damn it. I wanted to feed on him. I'm running out of blood. Blast. I'm not here. Better smartest than a dumbass? I guess so. I guess it depends. Do I do I want do I want to be annoyed by someone who thinks they're all smart or do I want to be annoyed by someone who thinks who literally can't understand a thing? Failed. Jeez. Fear back shaking. I think blood buff, right? I should probably drink a blood thing of my bobber. There we go. Well, Clemence. Oh. Freeze! Oh bullshit! I could have sneaked up on him, bro. Oh no! I'm in danger. There's a lot of them. Dude, I am not used to this particular, um, I'm not here. Ah! Come out here one by one. Owie. I can throw hands too, bro. Let's freaking go. Wait, no. Take your weapon back out. See, gotta be smart sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Starts crying. Oh my god. Ah! 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 Ah!
Let him cook. You can't see me. I wanted to take those ammo. I need to drink blood. Give me your blood. Take Savon's blood. I mean, what? I'm a normal guy. I would never do that. Where's my mouse? I gotta blow up this warehouse. Oh wait, let me sneak. Blush. Wait, what? What the heck? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, is this just a weapons room? Lamau. Get him out of here. I think this is just a weapons room. Um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm a special kind of vampire. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, Where's the other one? Where are you at? Oh wait, wait, I got them both? Oh, okay, <laughs> it worked out. I like garlic bread, so I don't know if that affects me. Freaking love garlic bread. So I think I'm supposed to go this way then. I need blood. Ah. <laughs> throws the chair away. I too do that when I'm going live. I just throw my office chair in this guy. It looks like there's nothing here. Oh shit! I did not expect that. I gotta be more careful. Oh. Oh, he just baited me, OMG. Bro, I'm not go doing good. I don't think I even have enough blood to do this. Yeah, I love talking about food, man. Very rarely I like... Oh. Very, very rarely I like... Is anyone there? Wouldn't you like to know? Is anyone even here, bro? Oh, you know what kind of vegetables I like? Tempura. Tempura, they taste good. 
History has a way of repeating itself, and if we don't stop violence and destruction, now when will it end? Guns don't kill people, I do. <laughs> they are so here, OMG. But I'm gonna be a brave little soul. Oh, they're literally right there. I can see them, a group of them. How do I get out? <laughs> there has to be another way. All right, let me see. Let me see. No interactables. Sad. Oh, this is the computer room. True facts. The tools. The tools of destruction. I mean, anything's a weapon if you think about it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, fuck me. Calm the frick down, bro. Anyway, was being a little dramatic there. Oh my god! I know, right? It's so cringe. I need blood though, for real. The sound effect gives me a spook something. Oh. Oh, gee, what's happening? What the hell was that supposed to do? I'm not sure that did anything for me. Maybe that was supposed to squish the people that was here originally, Lamau. Poorly done. Ow. tell my girlfriend i appreciate her just that? just that man just tell her and you know what i did this morning i brought home a rose and gave it to rue you could do something like that just like surprise little gifts oh my god it's not from here frick dude be right back i'm cringing Just small actions like that. I'm no I'm not I'm no expert at that stuff, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm actually pretty terrible at it. But you know. Just little actions. I think little actions are better than big actions. Like just saying I appreciate you, giving small gifts, reminding them every day that they're epic and based. Not in those particular words, but you know what I mean. Doesn't even have to be your girlfriend or partner or whatever, right? It could be like for anybody. Man, I wish someone came in chat and just told me they appreciate me sometimes. Shifty eyes.
JK, I don't need you to do that. <laughs> I can see the appreciation already. Hey guys, can I have some blood? Need a fix? Yeah. Oh, they're so expensive. I have a lot of money though. Oops. Yeah, I'm doing very poorly right now in that one warehouse thing. I keep dying. Um, I gotta check the pawn shop again to see if he has like a better upgrade. Whoa, what's going on? That's not me, I promise. Let's see if he has like a, a melee vest or something or a gun vest, bulletproof vest. That would be very helpful in this situation, actually. I keep getting shot Thanks up. For coming back. What you need? I need right, more weapons. Here's what we got today. Is that really all you have? Oh man, he doesn't have much. There. Okay, I'll buy more bullets. But yeah. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Small gestures, even like, um, you know, just uh, reminding people of what they do and what you like about what they do and how they look and go a long way. I think a lot of people mistaken getting like friendship or partners just one big action like. I'm just hanging out with you or whatever. Some people do like that though, but you know, just a little bit of like, hey, just wanted to let you know I appreciate what you do. Like unprovoked, it's it's a nice thing. Unless you're an asshole who hates compliments like me. Where's the cream cheese? Actually, I bought sour cream for our quesadillas that we're gonna make. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. Actually, I might make that for lunch. So yeah, I got sour cream. No cream cheese though. They, I don't know if Rue wants that though. Right now for bagels. You, you eat that with bagels, right? You know what tastes good with that though? Smoked salmon. I love saying salmon. Where's Nishi? I want him to hear me say that. Salamana. Salomon, Salomon, Salomon. I'm hungry. Would you be mad if I left for a bit to cook something? I press load game! Oh! I meant to save. I'm gonna throw myself off into the bed and just pull the covers over my head and cry. Need a fix? Yes, give me. Goodbye. Pizza, 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 bagels, and quesadillas. Oh, that's a blood pack. Can I take that? Oh, never mind. It's just dropped on the floor. I hate all these tricky decorations that won't work with interactables. Sad face. What the? Did you see that? Okay, I'm gonna save. New save game. Okay. There we go. Perfect.
to walk through here. This time, I will succeed in my mission. And this time, I'll remember to save once I get to the warehouse. Because I keep cringing on that. But yeah, did you, did you see the report? Or maybe you're at work. Probably a bad idea to do that. He's like the Talos guy from Skyrim. Yeah, let's go. Damn, October is like a whole month of gaming. I haven't done art in the entire month. I mean, I did art offline. I actually got most of Libra's line art for his animation lined up. I doodled a bit of Lord Vess commission. You don't see me. Now you dead. That's a cool time, yo. Oh yeah, the bullets here. I hear a doge, but I never see a doge. Yep, I'll just make all the noise in the world, no problem. Yep, that's what I do. I got what sour the cream. Hi, Anita. I almost call you Anita yeah, and Tina. Fun. How you doing? Get the kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about yeah. Tonight? What the frick? Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe you heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know. I freaking love the voice acting in this game. It's like so comedic. It's it's so awkward. You know what I mean? Damage potential. Heat adjustment. The severed arm has the same lethality as the knife, and I think that's pretty funny. I'm going to use it. Know what I'm saying? To save here. Bagels don't taste good with sour cream for breakfast. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah. I'm using yeah, that for, um, I'm actually using the sour cream for enchiladas. No, not enchiladas, uh, quesadillas and what you call it? Nachos and stuff. Hey, Hi. Supreme, it's me. Ah. Oh, he shot his friend, Lamau. I'm like convinced everybody here is just Waka. Okay, I think he's dead. Work is boring. I'm so sorry. I totally understand that though. Work is like a loop of torture like without work you want work and when you work you don't want work and it's an endless cycle no matter what you do it's truly a, a very sad situation <laughs> Well, that's the thing. You have to be a trophy wife. Get this search for that, which is not easy. <laughs> Oop. Sorry, hobo. I'm going to use you as my blood. 
I'll be back for you. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly. Me? I ain't no trophy wife. The first thing about being a trophy wife is you have to be a trophy. <laughs> Wait, did the door close on itself? I'm gonna cry if it did. Okay, good. I'm more of like... I always thought that... I'd be okay with, um, being dependent on somebody, but that's like only half true. I like being dependent on people, but I also want to be dependent on. So when I don't get that dependent on aspect fulfilled, I feel like shit. I'm a participant, yes. I got the participation award for that. He's smarter than he looks, guys. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Because I just know ya boy's gonna die. Save. Okay. I'm kind of semi speed running this. My sneaking abilities are not that great, just so you know. Interdependency? Is that what the word is for having both? Just put it in gay terms. I'm a versatile. Can't explain. Hey, <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> <Who's up? laughs> How do you block in this uh. game, yo? No, come back. Are you still working at the same place? Because everyone keeps like switching jobs and I'm like, how do you do that? I don't even get any jobs where I'm at. Nar. I should probably save. Sorry, I'm save scumming guys. Don't be mad. I keep loading from the beginning because I keep forgetting to uh, save my point here. It doesn't auto save here for some reason. I think they're expecting me to be a uh, super gamer. Wow, and Tina, I love that sim like uh, that example. It's like the redwood trees. If one is a uh getting hurt the others will feed it nutrients through their root system that's so freaking beautiful we should just call our town redwoods hey man job popping is like i vouch for it don't let them gaslight you and be like stay in the same job or else they you know you have to be loyal to your company hell no nah, the company has to be loyal to you
Hey, where you going, man? God damn it! I wanted to feed on you. Madge. Oh really? I actually had like um an OC town Nate called Redwood back in the day. Actually my original design like my first Kiri OC like before this one is actually part of that universe. And that was like 10 plus years ago now. And I had seven brothers. And they all suck. Not in the vampire way, but in a they actually suck way. It was kind of based off how like I was always it like not by like real blood brothers, but like familial brothers. Oh man, I'll do this shit again. <laughs> yeah, this game really loves their pissing NPCs, yo. But I really gotta feed. Oh shit, there's like 10,000 of them in there. Attacking. Attack, boo! Oh. Oh. Throwing hands. Oh. Oh. I swear to God, they're all like Vaka. Oh, there's more. How long is 2009, bro? That's like... It's gonna be 2025 in literally a couple months. Wow. That would be like 11 years ago, maybe? I think, if I math that correctly, which I probably didn't. What the hell? Hey, guys. What are we friends? Okay, I like freaking let everyone know I was in here, so I might as well just go attack them. I'm punching the <laughs> Is he dead yet? Come on. Go hands. Oh, he's right there. I'm coming to get you. Whoa. Ah! I threw him to the other side. Blush. Sorry. I have to be careful with my blood. Man, can you believe it? Some of us live like before. Um, it's not me, okay? Who is telling me to freeze though? Oh. Not today, punk. Ragdoll. Freeze, cat boy. This is probably what is this? My fifth attempt now getting through this freaking stage. Is 
This is a pretty good prog though, so I'm gonna save. There we go. If I remember the that place didn't have anything for me. Okay, so Come on, let me open this. Ah! Dude, I just love that big I was like, what the? Hey! <laughs> what the f Open the damn door, bro. Look at him. OMG. Oh, I'm supposed to put it here. Okay. Don't mind me, boys. I'm out of here. Oh, wait. Let me save. Oh, my God. That's where I was supposed to put it. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh hell no. He's up, mofo. I'm out of here. Am I going the right way? Oh. Oh! Excuse me. Get out of my way, fool! Oh, I can't go through? Wait, what the frick? Who are you? Why are you attacking me? I don't know who you are. Oh my god, you're crazy. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my lord. I am so dead. Hey, okay, this is awkward. Can I crouch under here? Ah, shit. Nope. Well, this is awkward, boys. I guess I'll blow up with this place. Excuse me. That'll do it. Sorry, I gotta go, fam. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm going to be honest with you. Do I just have to be out of the warehouse? Oh shit. What the? Oh. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume. What the? Are you a werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. Okay, sorry. Who are you and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. 
We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Uh, Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Um... I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, <laughs> perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. That's what someone who's following you would say, huh? Night. Beckett. Wow, okay. I made it out alive at least. So I'm gonna save. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? I heard he was in town. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm, Bertram. I have some serious questions for you. Do you love me? What do Just you kidding. Need? Met your ghoul Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. I don't think they, I don't think we could because uh, he has more teeth than lips. It sure didn't seem like he was expecting me. Come on, fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take. Some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. I have a few more questions. Like what? Um. I had more questions about the clans, I guess. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Oh wow, he can tell you the whole lore. We'll be here all day. Tell me about me. I think I'm a Tremere. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. There's a few in LA, but all in all, there's not that many of them. Okay. What's a sec? Sure, fledgling. It's war out there after all. You should know all you can about the different sides. No, I'm out of here. Knowledge is not power for me today. That exhausted me. That, that whole warehouse situation. That was like probably the most frustrating part of the game so far. I need blood. I'm on my way to get some blood. What if I went sicko mode in a place like this? I missed you. Did you miss me? Sure. I'm 
I'm like almost gonna kill her by accident. I swear. Hey you. That is here to get a little more sugar. <laughs> Wanna come play with me? Yeah. Drink your blood. I would never say this. Like I'm literally just reading the dialogue and it's making me laugh. Is that Kim possible? Okay. The wo the warehouse mostly lies at the bottom of the Pacific with a few pieces neatly lodged in a lawn in Pasadena. Report to Prince Lacroix at the Venture Tower downtown. Downtown? Am I supposed to talk with her? The music is so funny. Wait, why is there two doors? Oh, I see. OMG, she's gone. Can I steal something? This is a really nice bathtub though. Oh my god, I can hack her. Yes. Her password is one Baron S3. Nectar of the gods. Vandal Cleaver. Miss Vorman, your humble servant, has done his all to provide you with yet another batch of the finest sanguine spirits. And I apologize for not pouring it when you asked last time. Forgive me. Unlike you, I'm an imperfect being. Hello, Stenwick. How you doing? Oh, okay. Halting construction from Julian Johnson. Look, Miss Vorman, I'm really sorry to do this, but the men won't work there anymore. They say it's haunted. From Jeanette. Why are you always so mean? Birdie's not so bad once you get to know him. You're the disgusting one. Okay, so she's just talking to herself. No, your bitchy attitude is tearing us apart. You need to cool off. Why don't you go swim in the Pacific? Okay, so she's just emailing herself. Now that I know the context, then what the heck is this? Hmm. Oops, keep forgetting that's not the key to leave. No tasers, only crying. Maybe that might be perceived. Oh, that's smart. Because there's only one of her, so she drew their other personality. What do you know about Teresa and Jeanette? I need someone to tell my troubles to. I might be, I'm, <laughs> I was born in the ghetto. Fine, I'll say that. Yeah. In the card of Game of Life, I've got dealt a hand of Jack Squat. Uh -huh. <laughs> the only thing I have to look forward to now is death. Right. You gonna buy a drink or what? I think he cares. 
No, but I feel much better having told someone. Thank you and goodbye. Wait, why don't I draw, uh, drink alcohol again? Yeah, that's a good theory, Yvonne. How do I... here? Okay. Venture Tower downtown. You saw a bloody murder scene on the pier, but... Oh. How do I leave? Cuz! Sometimes I just don't want to put my teeth in someone's neck. Not today. Not today. Oh, there's a plane. Main street. Okay, then the next question goes, how do I get a taxi? Main street, beach access. Maybe it's from the beach. Let's go to the beach. Wow, you sounded like you knew what to do. I would have believed you. Oh yeah. Hey. E evening. Know anything about the murder on the pier? M mur murder? No, no. I, I wasn't here when it happened. Thanks, anyway. Easy, easy, easy. No, one, no. Um, uh, okay. uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Who doesn't? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? If he's killed with the holy stake, sure. Interest in purchasing it? Okay, but first I had another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Sure, if it's unicorn blood. Unicorn blood? Oh, there can't be vampires, but no such thing as unicorns. I'll buy it, I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Um, come back in a little while. A whale. Fucking mayhem, bro. You had me. No. No, you are going to China. What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? Oh. Huh? You're not making any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. Oh, you found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh, God. Oh God, run! I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. No, tell me more. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Wait, do you know anything about the murder on the pyre? The murder. Here? Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis and to the home of the stars. And then returns fulfilled and empty once again. That explains so much. Do you write forms for the IRS? <laughs> Stop. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. And you tell me my fortune, I'll pay you. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Hundred? I'll give you twenty. Here's my question. Then ask. Again. Hmm. 
What's gonna happen to me the next few nights? The crimson sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Who can I trust? Mm, the man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Who are my enemies? Men everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Oh, thank you. So who has a job I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Okay. Any advice at all? Something that's going to save my life? Don't open it. Oh, don't open what? The fifth grade, who stole my bike? I see the future, not the past. So, am I going to win after this is all said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. True. Okay, bye. E e evening. You okay? It's n n nothing. Do I scare you? N n n no, I, I have a spe speech problem. S so sorry. Okay, bye. Hi. I'm not gonna make fun of him for that. Yeah. Look at the ocean. I used to love swimming out into her. What the? the crack <laughs> of I'm sure you did. My guest. Yeah, do you know about the murder on the pier? You got me. I reckon it happened a bit before we got here. A lot of viciousness, the whole world over. such a band to creep into your interesting face right. shape. Okay, hey, bye. Who's the person that asked me about the lady? Was it you? Was it you? Bail bond. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to the bail guy. Hold up. Let me go to the bail guy and see if he knows anything about this Lily person. There's so many side quests. I'm like getting so confused. I can see that you can miss a lot of quests in these games if you don't spend a lot of time in it. Otherwise, you'll just miss a lot. Is that from me or from the game? I can't tell. So this weekend, um, I finally can sleep in. I gotta try to work on a bunch of things. I I've been keeping myself pretty occupied. What's here? Not intentionally, I, I was just keeping very, very, very busy and uh, and trying to keep up with, you know, the art, the stream, the event. And even though it's crazy because is this is a regular dude. Oh, shit. The police is right there. You're lucky you survived. But yeah, I've been like extremely overwhelmed with things and um, I don't know waiting is one of the most hard hardest things to do just waiting and that's all I've been doing I was just waiting and waiting and whenever you're left in a situation where you don't know what's gonna happen next it's pretty frustrating and not only that you can't help yourself, you can't help like the people around you and it's extremely frustrating when you can't. Hey, I've never been in here before, let me think. Oh, it's not a door you can open, that's why. Whatever. 
go to save just in case I'm not allowed to do this. Whatever. Nobody will know. Mmm, delicious. But I am doing the things I need to do. Um, after this October, we have November and then we're going to be gone for a week again for another work trip. And then after that, it's the basically the fates of my hands i mean wait what feet of myself and my situation is in the hands of feet themselves hey slick great to see you again and i'm not sure if i can stream as much after november but i gotta try to save enough money so that i can set up a portable thing to continue but other than that i'm like stuck I'm curious about your business. Bail bonding? What do you want to know? Rico. So, Rico, why... Do you run this place? Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> Santa Monica doesn't sound like a good place to be living. Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. Oh. Damn, sounds like Santa Monica has seen better days. Hell yeah, I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hear you. I wanted to ask a question. Sure, pal. What is it? Oh. Never mind. I guess you don't have... Left behind the diner. Where's the bond? Did I sell it? This one. I guess he doesn't have any answers for that. Well, moving back to the beach then. Beach episode. Oh, Ikea. Wait, the candy's not working? Question mark. Uh oh, stinky. One second. What? The candy's not working. We got candy though, but the candy itself's not working. Why is that? Oh! Oh no! Hold on. That's not good. How are you, Kia? Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Let me see, let me see. Ugh. Trick or treat! There we go. I'm all right. Just hungry, chilling out, vibing, basically. And I don't know what happened to Big Al, but uh, Big Al got bombarded <laughs> by a bunch of stuff. You still haven't changed. I wonder why. I guess you'll just forever be whatever that atrocity is <laughs> are you leaving it on purpose 
Or you just actually can't figure out how to take it off. Like, I genuinely don't know how you're like that at all. This is really funny. Woo! You have become your ultimate form, yes. Oh, oh my god. I can fix him. Okay, mostly. I think you were a Pokemon for some reason. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Okay. I think I got you, fam. I don't even know why you got Pokemon on you. That's crazy. <laughs> what is happening you're literally literally just a pokemon i don't understand what's happening to you what in the world this is so strange Wait, are you putting on those Pokemons? Is it just doing it itself? In the world? Never mind. I think you're just like that forever, I guess. That's crazy. That's so strange, dude. Yeah, I'll fix it tomorrow or tonight. If you can stick around for a little bit, I'll fix it. Maybe before I go pick up kiddo. That's funny, dude. You're truly the demon that we might have think you are or are searching for. I have seen the squirming on the horizon. The worms <laughs> are stripping the foulness from the skull of the earth. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, hey, I'm baby. so confused. Will I get in trouble if I suck the police? I said. I asked. Yeah, everyone gets. Everyone is infected this Halloween. Oh, here's the beach. Beach episode. 
Wait, no, I don't get in trouble because I remember I was sucking the blood of a police officer in the first gameplay or the first day when I started it. I remember. I'm a little crazy. Those taxes gotta go somewhere. And that's in my blood system. My blood system. I have a genuine question. When you guys go watch VTubers, do you like it when VTubers um, jump around a lot for various of reasons? Like, I saw some people complain that um, certain VTubers have all these movements, but they're like, what a waste. They don't use it or utilize it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hmm. I'm not a very expressive person to begin with. And I and the um, the type of Hey guys. Can I come through? And the type of vibe I want is like super chill, not high energy, right? Didn't I tell you to get away from there? Oh sorry, I'll leave. But like that's the kind of vibe I like. But that's just like what I want for this particular stream, right? But um, I, I could express a lot more, it's true. But I suppose. But it's also not my stuff for like high energy and lots of movement on, on my streams. Or like when I'm watching, I actually prefer when the person is very chill. I do get impressed though by like them using the Oh my god copyright Tragedy. Ow Okay I guess we're not supposed to be here I genuinely don't know where I'm supposed to go Maybe I'm supposed to go in the sewers Yeah I had like this particular Oh they oh my god Canada mentioned I had this particular thought in my head where it's like hmm I feel like I may be too low energy but that's my thing I shouldn't feel so bad about having low energy or like being chill out I did that's why I have the yellow I'm dumb So I actually did a little bit more research on it and I was like, foxy boxes. I don't think I've ever been in a foxy boxes. What is that? Dunco Gasoline, Brothers Salvage. How do I get to downtown? Wait, what was I saying? Thanks, man. Yeah, unless I scream, obviously. Yeah, I was like reminding myself, like, I shouldn't feel so bad about it. Like, I know a lot of people love those very talkative, loud, extravagant streams. There's just nothing wrong with that, but that's not like the type of thing I'm into. And I don't have that energy. And I like. And then so I, I went around, you know, looking at what at other people's thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or when the game is scary. Super scary. Well, I want to know what Foxy Boxes is. How do I get out of here? Yeah, I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. But yeah, I, I read somewhere where like, um, a lot of the online culture especially content creation is almost very it's very saturated vtuber is very saturated i agree it's probably harder to stand out that way so you have to do extremely extravagant things try to make yourself seem louder and stand out more than other people around you and also there's people love to find attention in in the most kind of in my opinion dishonest ways like 
rage baiting or like thirst trap or whatever the heck they call it. Um, and that's so not my thing. But the type of community that you want to cultivate is definitely reflected in what type of way you represent yourself. So even even though I agree that um, the stuff I do is pretty, I would say, slow, quiet, not as party going. Oh, I have a you know, new email. Nice. This is the type of, you know, environment I want to create. And even though it seems slow, even though it's been like almost four years and because this happens to my art too. Ever since I stopped drawing, I had to remind myself this as well. Ever since I stopped drawing fandom stuff, I've been getting like very few interactions, discoverability, and and especially the way we're being treated out online, um, less attention to our work because everything about me is extremely original. It's not fandom related. It's not catering to an I guess like a legacy type of content, but I I would say for someone who's pretty independent on everything I do and niche in terms of like personality execution and the games I play, I think I did pretty well. So the trade off is not not that I only did well, but like the community is very very strong. Very I wouldn't. Uh, what's the word what's the english word like it, it's a very tight-knit community which i really appreciate this style is uh yeah i'm original i'm not like other cat boys but um it, it i don't know it, it's just it making oc art and content and not having to do with fandom is extremely hard and really rough on you mentally physically and financially especially if you want to grow as an artist and part of being an artist and even a streamer is to sell yourself right and to make yourself known but it's super super hard to do that and i've avoided fandom the first time i went online i drew fandom for like sports anime fire emblem some of you if you're into that you probably saw some of that i drew some final fantasy fan art too they're all deleted now by the way um and some animes but it got to the point where I, I reached like 10,000 followers and people were like taking my art, reposting it and reusing it and saying really mean things about my art. And I even did shipping art because I was surrounded by people who were really into shipping. So I was like, oh, I want I want friends, too. I don't have much friends anymore because I'm not into that. And I'd rather not. But yeah, um. And then I delete it all because I just couldn't take these nonsense anymore. But I had a lot of discovery, discoverability. Fandom is like where it's at if you want to be popular and basically hopping on trends and being someone you're not in my case. Kiri X root content. Would you would you want that? <laughs> There's plenty. There's plenty in my Patreon for those who are on there. But yeah, it's uh, it's really tough and it's been four years doing this and I feel like there wasn't any growth that is sustainable for me, but it is what it is. The first move. Let me read my email here. But yeah, so I appreciate those who do stick around and support my content. And I have I've had a couple of people who were, you know, helped me extremely financially, but I had to kick them out because their behavior was just not acceptable in the community. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I do need support like financially, but in the end, in the long run, even though it feels like it's super hard to keep going. And a lot of the things I do is I, time is money, you know, like I draw everything. I don't spend money cause I don't have money in the first place to do it. And uh, I put in a lot of time to make these things. And in the end, if you're just doing it to be popular, it's not good. Um, you just do it for those who support you. So I guess I'd say I'm pretty lucky. Maybe it's because I 
feel more pressure now that I have a family to take care of. Subject. The first move. From a friend. The White King moves to protect his pawn. The hell does that mean? I'm scared. Am I the pawn? Dark blood or curse alight this worse. Such power sensing once so young. Come find me when the where burns the mystical sun. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Can I just go Nini? OMG. Oh yeah, did you? No, Lord Var, you you got your postcard. Did you... Oh, Big Al, did you receive it? Since you're a lot farther from where I am. I'm kind of worried because I haven't heard anyone saying they got it or, or not. Okay, you're the only person that told me they got it. Downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me. Down there. We got something <laughs> to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. I'm glad it surprised you. Did you use the candy in the end for anything? That's C Rev's boyfriend. Because that was C-Rev's room. If you remember, he rented it out. Yeah, I don't know how to freaking get to downtown, bro. You have survived the Sabbat. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to Mercurio? Yeah, your room. You have an Elvis boyfriend. Oh, the guy here is gone. Where'd he go? So he was an important character. Interesting. Let's check my boy Mercurio, see if he's aight. Oh, true. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! I don't know. We've never met him. We only heard his Elvis Presley voice on the phone there. So when we go to downtown, we'll see your boyfriend. Oh! OMG, he's not here. <gasps> I'm saving. Something bad might happen. Okay. Hello? Hey, he's gone. What's... What's going on, yo? Oh boy. Am I missing something here? Uh oh. He's... Oh, you got it today? Nice. Good. Good, good, good. It made it. That means everyone else should have gotten it. Yeah, the Halloween one is a little bit small, but the candies were cut out. They're stickers, by the way, so you can put them on stuff if you want. Trick or treat! Wait, you can put them on stuff. It is Kiddo and Rue actually cut them out themselves. They helped me. They actually did it while I was looking away. So I was surprised when they're like, look, look, Kiwi, I cut it off for you. And I was like, OMG, that's adorable. So yeah, they're they're all hand cut. Make sure you hide them before the demon steals it, though. Thanks for coming back. What you need? You talk to everybody. All right, here's what we got today. Not much, huh? I'll just buy this just in case. This costs like fifty-one dollars. Oops. Research? Where's research? Social. Mental. Research. Oh, okay, never mind. We got 500 candies that we're gonna drop on the 31st. How exciting.
Out of my way. Out of my way. Stretch. Trick or treat. I failed, Sag. Yeah. Right oh shit! I didn't mean it. Oh wait. Oh no! They saw me lock picking Lamau. I can't explain. Oh! I'm under arrest. Pew pew. Blood. We got 500 candies. Damn. What am I supposed to do now? Where is downtown? Making my way downtown, walking fast, but I don't know where to get there. Might as well, since we're just lost like crazy. Wait a second, that's not it. You are here. The police are still looking for me. Devil's Brand Tattoo. The Asylum Parking Garage, Santa Monica Pier. They gave up on me. Oops. Impressive. No, I am the best evader of polices. What the? Who opened the door? Wait a second, this is the ocean house. Oh, it won't let me go? Why? I like that the police um, gave up on me. I'm not very good at stealth stuff so I always succeed in failing the stealth checks okay I just really wish I had a map mega hertz computing I can't go in here who do I talk to I'm lost. Move to the diner. This is a trap. Oh, look at all this blood. <laughs> Would you still come here? What'll it be? Evening. Nope, nothing in here. Oh, well, they don't sell those gumball candy machines anymore, huh? I used to get some from there as a kid. But not everything is like beyond vending machines. Hey, yeah, you want to talk? No. We are living in the last days of the last days of mankind. <laughs> Can I go downtown from here? Nope. Who do I talk? Dude. I can't explain. Hey, what do you need? 
Oh, what was the deal with you and Therese Vormont? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Sounded pretty vicious to me. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body. And look what happens. Talk about your drama, Queens. Did you know Jeanette and Therese are the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Got more questions. Like what? Um, I wanted to know about someone. Sure. What do you think of Prince Lacroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Yeah, and what about the guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. Except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Like what? Sure. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. How do I get to downtown? I don't understand. Don't understand. You can tell that this is not a game that's friendly for someone like me. I'm gonna be exploring for a while until I find this downtown main street. Where's Mercury and the guy that was standing here? Maybe it's this way. Okay, that's not downtown Lamau. What in the tarnation? Instructions are unclear, boys. The gimbits. Maybe I take a car. That's the beach. Second street. We went to the beach. There was nothing there. Um, I went in the sewers. There were nothing there either. Is this it? That looks like something else. Um. What if I actually did have to talk to the taxi? Where to? OMG! Away from here. <laughs> Stanvik was right. You actually just straight out had to talk to the taxi. LMAO. To downtown we go. That was not obvious to me. Oh my god. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. That didn't take too long. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, lick. <laughs> what, lick? No, only suck. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla fuck. Oh, what? What? Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. 
those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Damn, y'all gonna get wet, boys. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. A grenade, we'll Lamau. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. <laughs> Execution needs a little work. Hello. You look like shit. <laughs> Name's nice. I'm in tears. Oh my goodness. That was so funny. The acting is impeccable. This definitely deserves an Oscar. I'll be nice. Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the burbs. What do you mean? I could have taken him. Want me to go get him? Yeah, let's go. You do what you want. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Okay. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Okay. I was like, let me at him, let me at him. And I'm like, beat up badly. Oh, new, whoa. I'm in downtown now. Gargoyles. I never seen a real gargoyle before. Maybe that's one of my life bucket list to cross off. Gargoyle. Walk fast to what? I'm a fast walker. La Croix. Hey there, Chief. Small world, huh? <laughs> yep, oh, that's him. Gallery. I, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the oh, sorry. man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? That wasn't a gargoyle, that was a grotesque. Me when I look in the mirror. Yeah, just let me up. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? What do you think, genius? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. That's better. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Lord was like, listen, Kiri, know your statues. I thought you were calling me a grotesque here for a second. Like, damn, you grotesque, girl. But if you put it that way, yeah, I'm just a decoration for the stream. Did you just say Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh, it, did you fixate over those sculptures or something? I remember, like, in 
high school i took art class and we had to learn about like certain art time periods gargoyles and grotesques were part of the uh one of those art eras but i can never like distinguish what was what i was like oh because you're you have to like define which time period it is and what sculptures were in what era and why they were part of the art era blah 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 right he's seeing you chunk he's a chonky boy i think i should save what time is it okay on our next ad break i'm probably gonna take a few minutes to cook something i didn't eat anything yet This building is so ominous. I can't use that. Oh, it's right here. All right, let's meet this boy. To the pet house. Oh my goodness. Such paintings. All right, not not creepy at all there you are i was informed of your presence in the building since you're <laughs> here i'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse this is correct yes yes that is Most excellent i had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one i trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel oh. None at all. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? I guess. What exactly do I have to do? There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? No. The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, the what? I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. Why do I have to go? Should I repeat myself? I do believe I mentioned the fact that I bent the delicate laws that govern our society to allow you a chance to live. If that isn't enough, I can't give you another reason. What do I have to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact... Many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Uh -huh. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. 
What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He asked me to visit him at the last round. I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Fine. Give the Anarch community my regards. Whatever. I'm out of here. Let's kill him at vibes. Bye, Chunky. What the? Huh? Why are they doing that? <laughs> Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because I know I got a weight problem. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's a positive way to look at that. What do you got in the trunk? Now, that is a legitimate question, but a better question to be, what don't I got in this truck? Because at Fat Larry's, my motto is, everything's got a price, but I probably know somebody who can get it anyway. Cool. You're going to talk all night, or are you going to sell me something? Nah, now, that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best stuff for select clientele. Now, that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. Okay. Oh, wow. He straight up showed me guns. Oh, my God. Heavy clothing. This is a set of heavy clothing, which acts as armor. Heavy clothing has an armor rating of one. There are no stats penalties for equipping it. Examples would be jackets, coats, thick sweaters, and sturdy trousers. Yeah, give me some heavy clothing. Now I'm poor. Can't sell it. God dang. This gun's like 188. I don't have money. Thanks, fam. Now I'm gonna equip my new drip. Hell yeah, check out my new drip, bro. Check out my heavy clothing. Why do I run like that? OMG, stop this. All right. Grotesque, as Ludva calls it. Is gargoyles called gargoyles because they're gargling water? Whoa, she is not wearing pants. Oh my goodness. She, if she was a character or VTuber on Twitch, she'd be banned. Hey baby, looking for a date? No, I think I have full blood. Hey baby, need to <coughs> Hey guys. Wow, downtown sure is a tough spot. Oh, this guy thinks he can just walk through alleys and not be unharmed. What's this? What? Why is there so many of these dudes? This one has a suspicious attic. Uh, 
Hello? My what now? Hello? I feel scared. Am I supposed to be here? Oh! Hello? Sorry for intruding, OMG. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. Assuming you are... Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Thanks. What's, uh, what's this? What's a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Wait, isn't that my clan? Cool. And you're a regent? What's that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Okay. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay, what can you tell me, Max? What's going on here in downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Like how I couldn't find the taxi for a good 30 minutes or more? I appreciate that, I guess. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yeah? Why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Oh, that explains the hazard suits. Just like 2019's COVID. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Maybe I can look into the epidemic for you. Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. Now that's what I'm talking about. What's in it for me? I will ponder the nature of your payment while you are gone. Believe me, I will treat you fairly, Neonate. And your service to the Camarilla won't be forgotten. I'll think about it. Tell me a little more about the Camarilla. The Camarilla. It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Okay. Cool. Actually, there was something of else. Of course. I have a few questions. What is it you would like to know? Let's talk about something else. Of course. I'm out of here. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had questions, but I don't. Goodbye. Trying to look up this epidemic. And here I thought I was going to go to like... The roof or something that's locked. Okay, so let's look for Nines and Rodriguez. Whoa.
What the heck is going on here? Gang violence? Oh my god, we saw a statue just like this in San Francisco. What the hell is going on? Oh, there are people coughing. What the heck is going on? They're shooting each other. Uh, police, there are people shooting each other. Aren't you going to do something about that? Useless as per usual. What is this? Confession? to confess oh I thought it was a church <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me I swear you were all like totally drawn to me I'm surprised I don't know you I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene not a lot of you out tonight which is <laughs> weird because I don't know of any parties going on what? Mm, vampires, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Okay. Who is this lucky someone? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. Never heard of him. Happy? Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably like too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. I'm sure he's a regular Brett Skullscroft. No, Goodbye. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. Why should I? Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said he'd come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I wouldn't get thirsty. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Well, fine. You're just some no dick fledgling. I've hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on earth. Good luck, ghoul. Her freaking voice acting is killing me. It's so like, hang on. Like a lot of these voice acting is extremely exaggerated. Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Two more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess and it's time to confess. Who are you? Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Uh... Not too much. Nothing I can think about- talk about, though. No matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? No.
Kicking ass, taking names. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? You got 10 seconds. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. What's in it for me? Drinks on the house for a week. I don't drink. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Definitely, I'll do it. Mm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind. Just don't go starting any street fights, all right? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priestess. Later, darling. Be back in a minute. What? Hell yeah, let's go. these dance moves what? I like how no one is actively like eating or drinking in this game they're just like either dancing or oh, doing absolutely nothing really or crouching over and crying It's nothing. I guess she's one of those people you suck blood from. I'll scream. It's such a strange game. It's funny as hell. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? Nocturne Theater. Closed. Okay, never mind. Where is that Nines Rodriguez guy? Welcome to LA downtown. Where you will be absolutely lost. I don't think I've been in here. Oh, I lied. I have. What in the world? Where am I supposed to go? No trespassing. Violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Beautiful. That was poetic. Walks in. Waiting to get shot. Mind tell me what the hell's going on here? My crew, my crew, we, we, were, we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist, haunted LA. Oh, oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. I'm about to slap some sense into you. Tell me what happened. Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts of this. That's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. 
Whatever, you wait no, here. No, don't go down there. Get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> He doesn't seem Get convinced. <laughs> no, it was out of, it was out of nowhere. Right. You stay here and mumble incoherently. I'll be back. <sighs> Downtown hospital. Oh, it's a hospital. Big Al, you somehow got your monstrosity back. How's that possible? What the? Oh, he got yeeted. Oh. Oh, I have to go through here. I see. Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Accidentally got myself into a hospital situation. So I'm here to investigate because that's what I do, baby. Wait, I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? Oh, here. Let's see. Oh, is that one of their cameras? Oh, she she got dragged from here. Renee? <laughs> Stop. Ooh. Oh dear. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know where I'm going. Blood. I like spooky games sometimes because there's like blood in places that make no sense. Like there's, it's like, it's like adding too much detail on a character. Like what is the story here and why is it here? It makes no sense. the sight of death it is the fear of death what is the fear of death terror of the unknown 
Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. What are you? Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? You have to eat human flesh? We drink blood. I eat flesh. Kine eat food. But kine think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. I don't understand. I kill or I rot. For every night I go without it, I wilt. All things must consume life to avoid dying. You and I are no exception. Uh, I don't know if I agree. Who are you anyway? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Are you going to eat Eventually. him? He'll never come down here. He's scared of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Hmm. So I can either let the guy get eaten or I kill her. But I feel like but I feel like she has some sort of OP thing. Who am I to argue with a flesh eating monster? Sure, why not? Let's send him to his death. Oh. oh, it's just a creepy hallway. LOL, those skulls are huge. Those are not normal sized skulls, Lamau. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? Well, first of all, girl, I don't know how to get out of here. suck right here huh 
What? How do get out? Oh, right. Um... I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. This is awkward. I like how the random computers have cameras though. Yeah, there's probably an exit where she is, but I just didn't know how to exit. Hello. Okay, I'm awkwardly back, but don't mind me. I just don't know where to go from here. Maybe I'm supposed to go through here. Oh, oh my God. That's so not obvious, bro. Oh, he's not here anymore. Should probably save. Where did it come from here? I don't know where he's at. Okay, so it is ad break. I'm gonna save here and get myself some snacks, something to eat. So if you've been sitting for a while, I'll probably get time to get up and do the same thing, grab some water, stretch, and I shall be right back feel free to throw candy in the meanwhile uh yeah i was fighting my inner demons sorry about that <laughs> i blush hope that didn't inconvenience you too much oh my god rue was attacking big al because he's a monstrosity perhaps Oh my god, what's the what's the first person who has the first sickness? I maybe Big L was patient zero in this demon controversy. What do you think? You are a demon. Whee! Is that Popoto? Some of you are infected, others are not. Yeah, let me make you guys a little bigger. There we go. <laughs> Wait, you watched JoJo? I didn't know that. Oh, 
fun a tarnation it's yeah some of you don't have um the horns some of you do some of you have manifested a lot of the uh the disease i should say yeah i don't know where the guy went he probably ran away i wouldn't stick around here either Nani? Okay, I accidentally went through a whole sequence in there. Yeah, this game is super chill. Blood. Sorry, I just wanted a little suck. Escapes into the sewer. Whoa, this sewer is a little bit different than usual. Looks kind of scary. Downtown sewers is not well kept, clearly. OMG. What's up here? Ah! Evan! Oh. Did that double scream? It's shaking. Hey, that's a parking lot. Oh wait, no, that's to the towards the police. He won't let me go through the parking spot. Yeah, this game is so like, so outdated. It's dated, funny. Like, in a way that it's like, so dated and stereotypical. Oh my goodness, where can I go here? Okay, so... Pisha the eating seen too much. I don't The prince wants you to investigate Elizabeth's date before he wants you to contact Nine Rodriguez. At the last round. Where the hell is the last round? That's my name! Okay, smart ass. Clement! Where is the round whatever? This this place is the confession. The skyline. Oh, I haven't been here. Drinks. Oh, this is a shitty looking apartment. It is an apartment, right? Oh, that's terrifying. Hello? It's me. Ooh. Wait, we're watching you. That's creepy, bro. You guys, when you come in my stream. Peep. Wow. Very original. Hidden cameras online. Hidden cameras online. Subject from Butch Rider. Hey Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending in that security footage and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Oh, apartment notes. Simon Milligan, he's on TV, so odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta keep an eye on him. Sean Milton, he's a slob, and he never really has chicks over. Some guy has been staying with him lately, so I haven't wanted to watch much. Wow. 
Georgia Welch, this rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password on her door is 9648. So maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to auction off online. <laughs> People are that messed up though. Wait, what was what was the a password? 9648. Vacant. No reason to keep it on this one. Sauce! Nope. Paul Anderson. I thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. I'll keep the tape rolling. Anna Glazer. The gold mine. Something hot is always going down in here, and that something is usually Hannah herself. Ew, what a perv. What the? OMG. He literally has cameras in these people's apartments. Gets paranoid and checks if we have any. There, apparently there's a way to check though if there's cameras flowing or you apparently it's something you have to do especially when you go to south korea is to have like a f a thing on your phone that detects if there's a camera in the room and it kind of shows a red dot on the screen thanks for the head pet obsolete oh there's a sewer here okay you can actually just go directly in here A manhole, I should say. What room was that? Yeah. Oh, guess I'll be using a lot of this. We love manhole pog. That's what he said. Whoa, this is a sick apartment. Lol, can't see myself because I'm vampy. Then how do you like... If you can't, if you don't get shown in the mirror, how do you interact with humans? You have to like avoid mirrors at all costs. There's a vent. This is a really sick place. Mom's best brew. Oh, that's the bedroom that we saw in the camera. Ew, he's been watching him here. What the? You're from the hospital, but in my crew, are they? Are they? Should I convince him to get in? Hmm. Yeah, that apartment is pretty bomb. But he's about to leave, so let's take over. Get out of here. Run faster than you ever have before I change my mind. So should I... This guy. Were you... Wait, were you here when the whole hospital thing went down? There he goes. Oh, he actually left. So let, let's see what the lady does. Is she going to come fight me now? Lamau, he actually straight up hid in here. Wait, that probably leads to downstairs, huh? Wait, why did I get red for that?
Okay, let's see what's on his computer. It's really sick. Password accepted. Ectoplasm. Haunted LA. I love Haunted LA. From Fanboy McGee. Haunted LA is like the great, graded, graded show ever? Ever. Is that the OG goaded? Sorry, let me re reread that. Haunted LA is like the greatest show ever. I totally am gonna visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should do too this one hotel I stayed at. Oh, he's meant to say greatest. There's a lot of typos. At one time in Palm Springs, I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. LOL! Subject. Holy shite, you suck from an angry guy with strong opinions. Haunted Ellie, my ass. Even if there were such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't, there's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf would be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell you think you fooling? It's not even as if we were real fucking wolves around here for her to hide out with. I hope you get eaten by some flesh eating monster, you stupid bee. Wow, these people are very angry. Upcoming shows. Show 17. Show 17, Hospital Horror. A dilapidated hospital in downtown area. This place is very spooky. Minimal work required. The place is scary as hell. We'll say it's the ghost of a nurse who feels as if she still has patience to serve. I love it when they make OC lore for haunted places. Show 18, Eternal Unrest. There's a cemetery in Hollywood. It's full of actors with more than just dead careers. Again, it shouldn't take much effort on our part. Interesting. Oh yeah, I don't drink, okay. What's this? Oh, it's a ladder. Where am I sneaking from? OMG. This guy could just creep in into his room, bro. I'm so glad our vents are not that big. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. Dude, I love this. This is the type of stuff I'm into, where you just like go into different people's houses or buildings. It's Mr. Milton. You know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Same. And I also like seeing the environmental storytelling. I won't shut up about that. Because, like, everybody has a different story in their housing. Look at this mess, though. How much do you think they pay for this apartment? In today's standards, it's probably 4,000. Oh, this is the messy room. Very cool. Valentia, what? Plenty of what, huh? Say it, you coward. Sus. Oh, very nice. This. Very neat.
You know what I realized in this game? No one ever spends... Whoa, this person has a better computer. Yeah, people don't really stay in their apartments. It's like nighttime, but no one's ever sleeping in their beds. Where's that one computer room? Or a computer that I saw. It's on the outside. So there's like two PCs. Alright, hacking. Oh, safe. Still too low. Wait, is this the password that we collected earlier? What was it again? Let me see. I don't know if this is the one, but we'll see. Nope, that's not it. Damn. Skill level too low. I'll find out. Nothing to interact with. Right, next floor. Can't go through that. Whoa. This is a very minimal apartment. They're running the laundry. Oh. It's a very modest house. Hold up, game froze, Lamau blush. Whoa, I would honestly trip out in a room like this, like the wallpaper. Modernized washroom. I mean, I thought, is this a condo? Or an apartment? What in the world? Nothing of use in here. Oh, the phones are here. Why won't let me open this fridge? Well, I found nothing, so we're out of here. Oh, it's locked. Very interesting. That's a sick TV. Okay. Well, we're stuck here. I guess it cuz like wait wouldn't you be able to unlock it from the inside though that makes no sense huh 
Twilight Zone. Well, what are you up to obsolete for today since you're... I think you're off, you said. We're chilling. Okay, let's... Six. I can never leave, yeah. I guess I'm stuck here, bro. Damn, that took a while. Ah, here we are. Okay. Nine, six, four, eight. not it you went to the skyline apartments to look for muddy but he wasn't there instead you heard another message telling durbin and milton to meet someone at an unknown location across the street from a bar soup you know i knew somebody who basically turned every meal into soup and that's like the only way she would eat she's like she hates chewing she hates eating so she prefers turning food into puree like i'm not even joking just, she turned some of the oddest food into puree and i'm like whoa i would be the opposite i want to be able to Dig in with my teeth and chew and swallow and all that. Unknown location across from the bar. What the? Why is there a knife on the floor? I'm... Oh, hold on, lady. That's the hotel. Which I don't think I can go in. I've been in there. He's definitely not in there. But yeah, the reason why I took so long during that one break is I was actually making, um, quesadilla to eat. I was starving and I made some for Rutu. So I'm, we ate real quickly. Beef quesadilla and sour cream, just so you know. Not cream cheese, sour cream. Ah, here it is. The freaking place. That took me 10,000 years to find. Whoa. Hello? Guess we don't want to talk. So that chase you in here, Cammy? Why do you ask? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting as many long enough to get your back, Jack? What do you mean, again? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. He got himself a new errand boy out of it. Did I do something to piss you off? As long as you're a tool for some case. You don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. What's a cape? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders. The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. 
What alternative do I have? What an alternative? Being here. That's a step in the right direction. I'm Damsel, dead mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since LaFroy wheeled in. The Tremere region says an anarchist responsible for a local ep epidemic. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! Whoa. What's a plague bearer? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can't. And kindred that feed on men start spreading disease. And that gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. How do we get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Hmm. I'll do it, but only because I'm bored. One of our boy's ghouls? Name's Paul. Lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. I'll go check it Wait, out. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Alright, go have a question. Yeah. Tell me about nines. No one like him in this world or the next. He's to the annals who George Washington was to the colonies, but Ho Chi Minh was to Vietnam. He is the LA Anarch personified. He's a great leader, and yet he's humble. I die. You stink. Hi, Roxas. I owe my my life. It's like one of the only decent people I've met yet. No one like him in the Camarilla or otherwise. Anything else? Your thoughts on Lacroix? Who the hell does he think he is coming into town claiming Camarilla authority over the city? We kicked them out 60 years ago. It's like England coming back and telling the U.S. how they should do things. Fuck Lacroix. <laughs> You join the anarchists now? I don't know. I seem to be vibing more with them. But I want to talk to... I want to talk to Nines first to see. No, the rev I give us those... Bean bread and beans? Wait, I have all of them except for the newest one, I think. Because I bought like... I think up to eight. Okay, let me see. I had no idea the Annex had been in control that long. I had another question. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who Smiling Jack is. Jack? Jack's Jack. Kind of a legend amongst Anarchs. There's not an Anarch in the world who wouldn't stand in rock star awe of Jack. Even the Camarilla doesn't mess with him. I have no idea. I'll have to open my Steam to look, but not sure. I want to get games through GOG instead because you actually have the games. Like, the physical, quote-unquote physical, the, the software of the game. But Steam is just lending you out a license. Wow, you remember? Oh, you're right. The, the Waka of vampires. Really? I had no idea. Jack's one of the cooler people I've met. He's been around a long time. He used to be a pirate, so the rumor goes. 
talk to Jack. He's never short on chat. Another question. Yeah. Tell me about the Anarch. We are about passion, Penny, and freedom. Things most Camarilla types just can't understand. I could go on and on, but Skelter says it takes too long to get me off my soapbox. Ask him, or even Jack. No, tell me. Tell me what you really think. I mean, geez, it just makes sense. Power should be redistributed amongst all of us, not just a few. Communism would actually work for Kindred, where it fails with humans. It's just common sense, you know? Okay, I have another question. Yeah. What's your thoughts on Camarilla? It's a sham! A pyramid scheme. Nothing but musty, withdrawn elders waging power struggles for no other reason than to keep their own ass alive for one more century. You think you have any real power in the cam? You're kidding yourself. I really don't understand it myself. I'm kind of new to this. You'll be better off without them. You'll see. All right, maybe you're right. See you later. <laughs> Damn, she's angry. I'm not sure if this is the Soviet Union type of communism. Oh, but more of like how Vietnam does it. Like if if uh, America is like the extreme version of democracy, I would say maybe the the communist is the other extreme. I would say like Russia or something. But like I think from what I'm seeing here, what she wants is like how Vietnam handles communism, which is everyone actually has health care and rights and stuff equal at an equal amount. That's basically what communism is. Everyone has equal access to things. If done right. <laughs> Most. I mean, democracy and, com and communism can literally be good if it does the things that it's meant to do. But obviously, in an extreme spectrum, like, like you see in today's world, it kind of sucks. Well, those are just words that people only know of or don't understand or, you know, using. It's like different terms for how society is run. Funny, is Nines Rodriguez around here? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. The oh, hell, I didn't act up. Well, like I said, I need to see nines. So go on up and see it. You're free to do as you please here. Okay, bye. Oh, look, it's Jack. You showed up. Good. Here's what I got to tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You've got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Nordic social welfare. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the... <laughs> everyone should just be able to eat. There's enough to share with everyone. That's all I can say. There's enough for everyone to eat, for to live. 
have access to health care. But it's not enough for the greedy. That's all I can say about that. But I am vibing with these guys. I, I think I... My, if I have to choose a function, I'll go with these guys. Aren't you part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. So oh, sorry. Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. You were at the trial. Isn't the prince of the leader of all LA kindred? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. So what are you about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Anarch free state? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Have you tried meeting with the Camarilla? meeting right here. <laughs> okay, he's pissed. Not a fan, huh? Of the prince. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Sounds like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier in the battle. All right, one more question. Any advice you can give Here's me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't going to save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. <laughs> He's right about that, though. All right, can you teach me how to fight? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold <laughs> your hands up like this. and keep your body at an angle. It makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Thanks for the boxing tip, bro. Thanks for all your help, Nines. L.A. is the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okay. LMAO. Jack! Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. Out in Santa Monica, kiddo. It was okay. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of ski ball tickets down on the pier there? No. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you. Am I right? You can say that. Yes. Uh, I would say it wasn't well, so bad. You're cool with that treatment, you'll make a great Camarilla. They love pussy. <laughs> It sounds like this game is so funny because like the behavior, the language, the gestures is so something that people in the 90s and before would grow up with like this so 
rude and so in your face. And a lot of kids, if they ever be spoken like this, they're like, I don't like how you said that. I'm offended. <laughs> like, why would you say that like that? Which is, which is true, but it's just so funny. Well, I was just saying I did what I had to do. I didn't like it. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> Politics? Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. All right, but why me? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. <laughs> it feels very homey. <laughs> Dude, I I grew up with people who would say shit like this. Not in this an animated way, but the language, the unhingedness, the no filter. That was like the type of people I was surrounded by. I don't get it. Why do you want to kill me? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Talk on, I'm still standing here. Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vets who are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Is LaCroix afraid of Nines? I thought he was the boss. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in LA. That's it. Hm. LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. So you don't follow Camarilla's law? Ah, <laughs> uh, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an ex. So true. Look at Twitter. I think LaCroix's got little man syndrome. Facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are so we'll all just jump on board. Who's everyone? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. You know the hell that means? Anarchs. That's got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can tell me about them, I guess. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? Who's your leader, Nines? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain wired to that shit. What about the rest of Nines' crew? Yeah, I... I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. What clan are you? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. What's Bruja again? I think that's like the first uh, vampire clan that you can choose, right? I got a few more questions. Right along. Tell me about Camarilla. Oh, my favorite topic. <laughs> What do you think about their ideals? I don't think that Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? <laughs> oh, hold on. This game got more political than I expected. I mean, like, most... Okay, to be fair, though, people are interested in 
the conflicts between humans so co politics tend to often be the main theme look at final fantasy 14 it's full of politics whether you think so or not But anyway, let's see here. So, what's it all about? The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it, the end. The rest of them are bloody crystal for the machine. Who runs the whole thing? Doddering old dust farts. They might be powerful as all hell, but who knows? They're too afraid to stick their heads out of their hidey holes. And why should they? This whole huge system is built so they don't have to. Is Lecro one of the inner circle? Ah, uh, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the street, that's for sure. Croy has ambitions of joining that inner circle. Delivering Los Angeles in their pocket would look killer on a resume. Public servants are always underappreciated. Not a hell with Lecroy. I blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince, he's a prince. So you dealt with princes like him in the past? He's a typical venture asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah oh, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky showing up in LA at the right time. He's just stupid and lucky? I'm not saying he's stupid, he's just an asshole and he just teeth kicked in, that's all. What do you know about the sheriff? Oh the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped up gorilla. Okay, what got more questions. Need some truth about? Welcome back. How are you feeling? Okay. Something else. What's on your mind? Humans. What about them? What do you think of them? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> I'm not one got killed, I bet you didn't cry, but everyone in this town is sick too. Slaughtering them for sport either. But they get caught in the crossfire sometimes. Ah man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks, Jack. Sorry. Is he wearing a shirt? But I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. Wait, is there blood on that towel? Ah, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I kind of look like the vampires. Look at me. I have the fangs, the eyes the enjoying the nightlife type of vibes there's nothing here oh new clothes yeah i got this whatever this is heavy clothing Contact Knights after you're finished talking with him, report back to the prince before you go on investigating the Elizabeth Dane. Okay, so I am leaning to if I have to choose a function, I would choose the Anarchs, but I do see benefits of both um, the Camarillas and these guys. Like, I totally believe in like the vampires should have equal, you know, access to everything. But I do also understand the Camarilla's laws of, you know, having certain rules so that people follow them and don't take advantage and do whatever they want of others. I got this. Right here. Happy. I'm in this. I'm in the light. No cars in sight.
Oh yeah, I went in the hospital too. This? Yeah, I did. I am figuring out the plague bear type of situation. Save your work, cat boy. Oh, sorry, true. Wow. Well, yeah, he said there were secrets only for a trimmer. I don't even know what plan I am, to be honest. Does it tell you? Six. I need better firearms. OMG. Yeah, I can tell. Look at the way I run. I mean, there are like, you know, very feminine guys who are into ladies, but like you can't just have a, a character with a stereotype like this and not be able to flirt with men. You want me, Cam. Get away from me. Leave me alone. Oh. I need to ask you about the sickness that's been plaguing the homeless. Oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! <laughs> I don't want your cans, it's just some information. Yeah, yeah, I heard that before. Come back with some green, maybe I'll believe you. Fine. Here. Half twenty dollars. No talk. Ah, oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where's this Tin Can Bill? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Okay. Thanks, see ya. Anybody got a menorah? Alleyway across from the bar. I'ma check it out. What do you think my vampire sounds like? My name is Karitri. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. I don't need your booze, old man. Tell me what you know about this epidemic. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> Why I'm am I so mean? Tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Here. <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <coughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <coughs> no, now, most of the options are mean. Because <laughs> I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. With the way you smell, I'm not surprised they think that. See? I have no choice but to select that. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, and teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. So what happened? Grabbed me, threw me over her shoulder, took me to the bad place. The dark place. <laughs> oh god. No one's wearing a mask. I'm gonna get sick. Than anything I've... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh god. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. I blacked out and woke up here in my alley. 
Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> Bill, I need you. I need to know where the monster took you. Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> LOL. Will you? Will you die already? Why would I say that? Good riddance, you pathetic drunk. Oh my god. Well, I guess he just died now. Tin can bill has pointed you in the direction of the sewers near where he took his last breath as the possible home of the plague bear. The frick? Is it here? He pointed the direction, but I wasn't sure where that is. Well, guess I'll just be mean. Whatever. That seems to be genetically in my personality now. Oh, man. Uh. Dude, my nails are black like not in a nail polish type of way but in a but in a more i'm decaying type of way like i need to wash under those fingernails whoa what is this omg I feel like I'm where I shouldn't be. Oh my goodness. What is happening? On your way down here, did you? Oh! Following the smell of entrails and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little blood. I like the camera. There's meat galore in my kingdom. I like what you've done with the place. What exactly is going on down here? The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. Huh? Wait, why are you feeding on the homeless? They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Man, this game treats homeless people so bad. It's a terrible, terrible, uh, negative stereotype. Anyway. Hey, uh, what's going on? You got a name or something? A business card? Brother Kanker. Or maybe my character is just an asshole, like the race. The bloated bodies, the maggot rick mortal shells. These are the signs, the coming of a new age. New age? I don't know what that is, but I like the sound of it. The brotherhood of the ninth circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights. Spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. Oh, you're the guy that's causing the disease. Sounds cool. Can I join up? Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh. Damn. 
damn and here i thought we were going to be friends oh well your funeral girl Oh shit, I'm in danger. One second. I'm gonna die. No! How do you block in this game? Actually, let me look it up. Gameplay? Mouse. Oh, it's not here. I still don't know how to block. Oh, here. It's right here. Lamau. Okay. Swim up, swim down. Primary attack. Reload, use vampire power. Can you even block in this game? ED? Duck. Swim up. Oh, tab is Lamau, okay. Oh, it's tap. Oh my god. Uh... I didn't know how to switch weapons quickly. I'm not very good at like doing this. Hold up. Let me do this real quick. There we go. Anyway, let's do this again. I'm dying a lot in this game. <laughs> I'm not very good at these controls. Wait, why am I not climbing? Question mark. Is it because I'm crouching? Okay, I shall... That reflection though. I'm not used to these controllers. I'm like extremely awful. I will be very honest. On your way down here, did you? Following. Brother Canker, they call me. Hot. Reach on, brother. Doors have been open. Ninth circle. I don't know what it is, but I like the sound of it. Why? 
the distance. Oh my god. No, use fool, not drop. Oh my God, can I load any faster? G. Oh, I did it. There we go. Wait. Is that Chong? Is that Chunky? What did I do? He had the same uniform. I have killed brother canker. He didn't want me to join the dark side. I'm depressed. That was kind of scary. Wait, isn't that the same place? Is it you personality wise or physically wise? Is that what you're saying? Hmm, rats. That looks dangerous. Oh, guess you're chonk then, I guess. Did I get out? Oh, 
I'm free. Now the homeless population has one less problem to worry about out of 10,000 millions that they have. Sorry, brother or er, sister. I don't know what I just went in, but I went in something. Oh, that's scary. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening here? <gasps> oh no! Did you see it? What did you see? Two guys, the dead guy, and other than that, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who is the other the guy? Better called him Muddy. So this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves, you find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. You're lucky you didn't. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure that that guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. Oof. What about the other guy, Muddy? Did he come back? No, he never come back. Thanks, see ya. Stay safe, brother. Someone went up there, though. I'm gonna see you. Who's this? Is that him? Oh god. Don't put your head back. Oh, there's fire. Can I jump over it? Ow. Well, I didn't really successfully do that. Lucky star room key. Rest in pieces. I saw someone walk up here. Where did they go? Is there a secret passage I don't know about? Oh, rip that guy, I guess. I like how they have the red lights there as something ominous is about to happen. Black bear is dead. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. I'll start looking for the rest. Bye, damsel. Hey, I heard that. What? What'd I say? Okay, six. I only have two experience. Yeah, those guys though, they were hard to fight. That guy whooped my ass. 
I probably need more blood bags or something. Because, yeah, boy didn't do so well there. Okay, so... Ghoul Paul at Skyland Apartments. Pisha, the flesh-eating woman. Do I have to go back to the hospital for that one? The guy ran away, though. Venus there wants you to go to the parking lot next to the Empire Arms Hotel and tell the Russians that she doesn't have their money. We contacted nines. What parking lot? That's a hotel, but I don't see a parking spot. What do you guys think of this game so far? I think it's pretty interesting and funny. To me, as a person who grew up in the 90s, the, the bluntness is pretty hilarious. Oh, what's this? What's up, brother? You enlightened? Uh, no. Sorry, brother. Come back when you become enlightened. Enlightened by what? Good story. You like it? You enlightened yet, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm enlightened. Sorry, Let's go. Brother. Come back when you become enlightened. You enlightened yet, brother? Sorry, brother. Damn, Come there has to be something done. Okay, I guess there's a way to be enlightened. I guess. Sorry, there's no booty clapping in this game because unfortunately it's not progressive yet. But yeah, the it's been very fun. The story is very interesting. The the vampire clans is very interesting. Naturally, the political aspects would be in it, as most games would, especially when there's like two groups of people disagreeing or blah 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 blah, you know. I don't have any, I don't have too much, um, interactions at IRL Goths. It's the hops, bro. Like, like I, I knew some, but I didn't really talk to them. Like, like the scene was interesting, but the vibe was not where I would naturally be geared towards. But it's interesting, for sure. Wait, isn't this... School Paul. The Skyline Apartments. This is Skyline Apartments, right? I'm not ready to fight. Yeah, it definitely has that really nostalgic feeling. That sounds just like Renee. Empire Army Hotels. Oh. I don't think I've been in here. Have I? No. OMG, yeah, this is the first time I've been here. Yes? May I help you? Wait, he looks familiar. Not right now, see ya. But isn't he the guy at, um... In Sant Santa Monica, stuck on the road? Whatever. Whatever. Wait, let me close the door. Sweets.
wealth is the password okay albany sweet i'm so excited to eat chicken curry tonight you have no idea the albany suite first floor is available next reservation sunday manhattan suite Manhattan Suite, third floor is available. Next reservation, Monday. Athica Suite. Oh, did I spell that wrong? Athica Suite, fourth floor is occupied. Guest Ashley Jones, booked until tomorrow. Nope. Brooklyn Suite. Is it Paul supposed to be in here? Brooklyn Suite. Fifth floor is occupied. Guest Jezebel Locke. Booked until next month. Wow. You must have a lot of money to be able to book it till for a whole month. I'm like convinced after all those work travels that rich people who rent out hotels people who rent out hotels for a long time like for like more than two days one to two days are like wealthy people man did i spell buffalo wrong buffalo suite sixth floor is occupied boris chikov until booked until indefinitely oh he owns that place yes logs Password, okay, I got you. I'm just gonna hack. Power! Check of. B. Planet La Femme, $10 steak and lobster. Oh, that's the transactions. Jones, brother, do you know how to type? I do not know how to type. Pot of champ de ch chatre. I can't speak French. None. Okay, well, that was interesting. Where's the music? Not even classical music? <laughs> Not today. Oh my god, that's me. That's literally me. Buy a watch. Why does she keep saying buy a watch? What is that a slang for? Nothing. Nothing. I'll scream. Sorry, now. I'll scream. I see. I guess that makes sense. Let's go up the elevators. Oops. Skyline Apartments. This is a hotel. Let's see if anyone's actually here. Uh, no. What? I'm not talking to any of you. I'm like curious about the floors. Let's start. Ground floor, isn't that where I am? Why won't it let me click one? Maybe that's not a number that's possible to click. Okay, only five and six are possible.
That's a ballroom. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Okay, I don't have access. Let's go to the sixth floor. Ah! I'll scream. I think that's my favorite line so far. Wait. Oh. All right. I guess there's nothing for me yet. I'm I'm actually really impressed by the environment in this game. It's really good. So a lot of the issues I have, but that's because I'm not a I wasn't really a big gamer growing up is finding the clues and hints for the next step. I'm like convinced I'm no longer a gamer. I'm just a casual. Ah, oh, there's the Russians. Let me save. It's Bogami's people. Old-fashioned bitch send you. That she did. Money. Where is money? She told me to tell you she doesn't have any, the money. No money. My job here is done. Nice meeting y'all. blush I like to punch oh what's this what the there's a whole system down here Oh, that's done and dealt. Get lost. This is the Skyline Apartments. I uh, hear this is where Paul is. Now I will save. Mm, delicious. Just a little drink. Buy a watch. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Dear diary, someone unfollowed me today. Just kidding. People unfollow me all the time. <laughs> that is the reality of an online personality. We're watching you. Wait, wait, is someone in bed? That's somebody, right? What kind of creep? Which floor is that? Oh, 
OMG, I brought my guns out, bro. What the? Oh yeah, that's the guy that was um, doing the filming and he ran away from the hospital. But I told him to run away, not to get eaten. Guess I'll see what that consequence leads to. Why did I pull up my gun? Wait a second. Was the stereo always there? Ew, oh my jeez. Vampire twerking would be funny. Instead, we get vampire flailing. Ah! What was the password again? Okay, he's apartment five. Let's go to the fifth floor, boys. sure it's all clear oh this is the nice one the artsy one well there's a dead dude on the ground so that's not good Two oh three. All's dead, bro. Whatever you gave him, he's dead. Oh, Hannah. It's me. JK, you don't even know who I am. Oh dear. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> hmm. Ugh. 
try to choose these answers. I'm a friend of Paul's. He just wanted me to come and check up on you. Uh, that's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? Yeah, sure. You sound pretty sick, Hannah. What do you got? <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I, I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't you didn't even question a stranger. <laughs> Come in your room. I can't remember. That sounds pretty bad. Would you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She, uh. She found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. Did she tell you her name? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Jezebel is a pretty odd name. Was there anything else strange about her? Anything at all? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know? <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know? I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <coughs> well, the next thing that's clear is when I woke up the next morning. <coughs> I haven't been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <coughs> Oof. Where did you meet her, Hannah? Where is Jezebel Locke? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey... Are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Paul's taking a dirt nap. You're probably next. No, Paul! It's not true! Oh, God! No! <laughs> I'm the biggest asshole! Rest in peace, bitch! See ya! Why would I say that? Is it because my humanity's at 50%? <laughs> Damn. All I did was run for the cops like maybe three, four times. That's hilarious. Okay, well, running for the cops makes me an asshole, I guess. I didn't even do anything bad. I was just running from the cops. <laughs> that doesn't make me a bad person. That's funny. Wait, who's the thin blood girl? And I was pointing you in the direction of one of Jezebel Lock as a possible link in the plague bear chain. She makes a residence in the Empire Arms Hotel. Oh my gosh, Yvonne! I literally don't remember at all.
Wow! I do do that. I, I, when I was like uh, clipping some of my videos to put on TikTok and YouTube, I noticed the pattern how I like react to some of you. Like for you, I go, Evon! And for Miros, I go, oh my god, Miros! Like I literally had developed a routine pa voice pattern for you guys. And then Sierra like, hey, see ref, see ref. So funny. It's just a wonder how these things get you so engaged. You're just a box. You're box. You're a gift that keeps on giving. What do you mean? <laughs> it's because you don't scare me enough. You, it's like, you know, when you're especially on like, I know some people do this on the streets too, or like if you're from like, I don't know if you guys do it, but back in the day, um, a lot of our nicknames, I'm pretty sure Rue can relate to this. A lot of the nicknames made for you is for one or two reasons like the best nicknames given to you would always be the worst things about you so like either from like someone reacting to you from how they see you or what you say or do or like what annoying thing you did to cause that person to be pissed is that them talking I love you But if you look at a lot of like nicknames, street names, nicknames like from the, those groups where <laughs> we come from, a lot of the nicknames are like from because of something cringe or bad that you've done. That's why my one of my nicknames was Monkey. Or in Khmer, they call it Swa, Mia Swa, with the most informal, rudest um, name convention before it. But they call me a little monkey because I was always like climbing things, eating things, driving people mad with asking questions and not understanding things right away. Wait, how do I get out of here? I'm stuck. Monkey. Yeah, I'm literally the monkey brain meme. That's a good idea. That is so me for real. Oh wait, this is the wait, can I only get across town through the sewer system or something? But no, if you if you have a regular nickname, you probably are just not scaring me enough or pissing me off enough. That is true. I do suck at directions. It's funny because in real life, I'm really good, but in video games, I'm so bad. this oh I can't unlock it
Oh, I made it. Yeah, I wish everyone wore a mask here. Okay. So let's go to the confession. Tell this lady that the Russians are um, not going to bother her anymore. This is cool. Buy a watch. What? What? I passed your message. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay. Um, I'm a little scared. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business? Hmm? Oh, I'm listening. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris. And every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. I feel like you can make her outfit with regular clothing. Just get like a scissor maybe at the seam so it doesn't rip. And you got it. Go I've on. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this and I'll make you a silent partner. What's the catch? Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? What does she mean by silent partner? Sure, he's still human, right? He'll be dead before the sun rises. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to out sneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. When I get back, we'll talk about our club. Oh, this is her office. How do I get down? Can I just jump off? Damn, I can't. Whoa, I've been at this for six hours. Shit. I got so distracted by, um... the game that I didn't even realize how much time has passed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice night out, huh? Wee. Okay, so I'm going to save here. But I do want to fix, um, I do want to fix Big Al's situation here. So Big Al, are you in here? I, want, I don't even know. It might be pretty late for, for him too. So as you can see, he's a big giant monstrosity for some reason down there. And I really got to fix it. But it's really hard to tell if I can fix it unless he's chatting. Let's see what the... 
Venus wants you to persuade Boris so he won't have to pay for his late fee anymore. He is in the penthouse level of the Empire Arms Hotel. Okay, so a lot of things are pointing towards this hotel. But you know what? I should conclude the... The flesh-eating lady. I'll conclude her mission first. Oh, it's not through that door, it's through here. Okay, so we got basically in a week and a half until the Halloween party. So if you guys are joining f for... If you guys are joining the party, it is at 5 p.m. PST. It's probably going to be one or two hours. I'm just going to draw a few people and uh, conclude everything like the event the subathon and stuff um that also means there's only one and a half weeks left for the subathon event to finish wait why am i not going down oh at the crouch so where we're at now we're basically halfway through the second milestone and then i've cut like only 20 subs for the third one For whatever ending that is for Huevo, Detective Huevo. Otherwise, it'll be a different ending. Wow, now that's spicy. Box twenty nine. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. Almost halfway there. So just remind you, tomorrow is the last day for this week, and then surprisingly, on Wednesday is Halloween. So if you're available to join in, that's then. Thank you, Box, for the gift. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I can't explain. I let him go. There's no way I was going to let you eat him. Disappointing. He will bring others. Lawmen. This will be an inconvenience. I should have known not to involve a novice in this matter. I go. Wait. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? Disappointing. Wait, why did I say wait and then there's no other option? I figured that she did, but I didn't know if I was going to lose my humanity or not. I'm like halfway down, so I was like, meh. Welcome to a first timers gameplay box. What the frick? I always have trouble jumping on this. There we go. Darky darky. Oh, Big Al, are you still in here? You have failed to eliminate Milligan for Pisha, thereby putting the masquerade at risk. 
Damn, all these rules. <laughs> Maybe she should stop eating flesh. I don't know. Okay, my friends, thank you for hanging out today. Um, I do have other duties outside of stream I must commit to.